So first, let me showcase uh, what actually goes in columns, and I'll differentiate that. So uh, you can use uh, so when you can when you connect to any of the database, right? So there are dimensions, and you can see here measures. Okay, you have a uh, line separation here, and which differentiate the dimensions in measures. And if you select any of the dimension, right? You can see the color highlighted is blue. But whenever you are going to select a measure, this will showcase in green color. Correct? You can see the differentiation, right? So we have dimensions and measures. And there is a concept also called as continuous and discrete. I'll go through that. But at least now, dimensions will showcase in blue color. And measures will showcase in green color. <laughs> OK? And you can use, uh, you can place any dimension in rows or columns, any measure in rows or columns, but depends on the requirement. Let's say, for an example, if you double click, you can see subcategory in, uh, in rows. And if you double click on region, this will come into columns, right? You don't worry whether this will come into rows or columns, but I can say uh, how this is differentiating is, which is purely based on parentential relationship. Okay, for an example, if it is a uh, one to one to many relationship, which is called as parent and child, let's say you know, right? Category and subcategory or parent and child, like I'll show you that. So when you double click on category, you can see in rows. When you double click on subcategory, this will also come into rows, correct? You can see, right? And we have product. So product is the next, I mean, next to subcategory, we have product. When you double click on product name, this is also come uh, comes into rows. Understand, right? Clear all. So whenever we have a parent and child, we can see everything comes into rows. For an example, so if if you double click on subcategory, and if you double click on region, this will comes into columns. You can see. Other than parent and child, let's say double click on order date, this also comes into columns. This is just a kind of an information. It's not mandatory like uh, to place in rows or columns, right? You don't worry about that. Basically, you can drag and drop it, but I'm just showing. But let's say if you if you want to drop segment into columns, you can drop, right? And you can create uh, whatever the required reports or visualizations. But I'm just uh, showing that, hey, this is the default functionality. When you double click, this will come into rows and this will come into columns. Clear all? And you know like cross tabbing right so for example let's say if you consider uh, so for an example if you consider subcategory into rows and if you drop directly a measure into columns right just drag and drop measure into columns this will give you bar graph by default okay this is the horizontal bar graph correct let's say if the user wants to see a vertical bar graph right you have a show me option and you can also select this but when you drag and drop any measure into columns default this will give you a bar graph but this is giving a horizontal bar graph but if you want to showcase vertical bar graph there is an option called as swap okay swap rows and columns you understand right so when you click on this this will move to the subcategory move to rows sorry columns and the sum of sales moves to rows let's see now subcategory into in rows, swap. Now you can see subcategory in columns. Understand, right? So if you want to create a vertical bar graph, make use of a dimension in columns. If you want to create a horizontal bar graph, you can make use of dimension into rows. But you can check, right? Clear all. You understand, right? The rows and columns, even in in tableau the one of the exceptional functionality is even you can type it let's say for an example i have subcategory wise sales information and i can drag and drop sales into labels i'll come back to this max card but i can display the numbers side to the bar graph for an example i want to show region wise subcategory wise region wise you can double click okay if you want to type in you can double click and you can able to see a box right here in editor straight away you can type in here okay 
understand that right? you can able to see region click on region click enter one more time so i use entire view let's use standard and you can scroll down so for each and every sub category we are able to see region wise sales but this is not giving a proper uh, i mean we have lot of records right when you place a region into rows this is displaying men, like multiple combination like this is many to many relationship accessories have multiple regions and central have multiple sub categories so instead of doing this let's place region into columns and you can see this looks pretty good right if you place region into rows we are getting multiple uh, records and we need to scroll down but the same dimension if you place into columns you can see we are able to segregate across region level right with different uh, separate visual like separate graphs here even you can differentiate uh, color for an example if you wants to drag and drop region into color this will give you different colors for different region understand right let's say if you wants to go for some other color click on edit colors this is the marks card this is the advantage of marks card for an example if you wants to go for only blue color okay assign palette click okay understand right so only blue color blue color diverging color you can see you are differentiating each and every region with the same blue color but uh, depends on the diverging let's say this is lighter in color and this is very big i'll show us multiple options multiple combinations right so you understand right so we have a label if you unselect this label you don't display those numbers but if you click on this show marks labels we can display those numbers and as i said you can make use of color okay or if you wants to drag and drop measure into color okay let's say i wants to use sales into color you can also drop sales into color so based on a value you can see the diverging color the thickness uh, i mean the yeah any questions so far